What's up guys, it's The Wolf. All right, so this particular video is not gonna be terribly long, uh, but it'll be pretty informative. And this information is um, an update to when we were talking about the whole firearms situation. Now I will go ahead and tell you guys that um, I will never put out any information that's going to jeopardize anybody. I will never tell anybody to do anything that they shouldn't be doing. Um, it's educational information only from a non-belligerent, non-combatant. So that being said, as an update, um, I did tell you guys that I was going to investigate the process of purchasing a firearms as a U.S. national. Now, many of you have done this. Now, you have to understand, guys, there's a difference between, you know, uh, what's put on video and then there's what's in real life. Now, I've already attempted this and were denied for specific reasons, and um, essentially... Um, well, the big thing for me probably was that I didn't use my social because as a U.S. national, we should be able to do commerce without having to have use of a public transmitting utility, nor is it legal for them to ask you for these things, but we all know that banks and whatever else do ask you for them. So in those attempts um, for YouTube purposes, we're just going to say that, okay, so I got, I sent off the... The files and from the Department of Justice and the FBI and they responded back with this under FOIA okay so Freedom of Information Act and I will get to the point they basically said we're not going to tell you okay but they say if you're unhappy with the information presented that you have 90 days from the time of receiving this to uh, appeal it now I'm not going to appeal it because essentially they're not going to give me the information. So we're going to tiptoe around that. And like I said, I'm not going to give away any anything that's not already known or out there in, in the domain so that I'm associated with that. But um, essentially in reading through this, I will give you one or two highlights. And essentially this their paperwork just says that um, gives all the proper codes and things that these are, these are applicable to. But... Um, it just tells you what they're not going to do, which is they're not going to uh, participate in anything. If there's a civil action going on with it, um, they will protect the identities and information of people in who are incarcerated. Um, if the information you're requesting has anything to do with a witness security program, they will protect it. If you or the information you are requesting is on a watch list they will not confirm nor deny that you're on it or this, or has anything to do with that um, if you are in law enforcement national security or whatever else the records may be limited so they just have a way of protecting all their stuff guys I mean at the end of the day we know it's it's BS but it is what it is so the one thing out of all that which wasn't even really pertaining to what I was asking about which I do find interesting um, it says, under the National Name Check Program, or the NNCP, um, their mission is to analyze and report information in response to name checks requests um, received through federal agencies. For the purpose of protecting the United States um, and foreign and domestic threats to national security, please be advised that this is a service provided to other federal agencies. Private citizens cannot request a name check. I thought that was interesting. Um, but you can do record searches and blah, blah, blah. So long story. Request for criminal history records or rap sheets. Also something that is available for a fee or in limited information. Okay. So basically, there's that. All right. So... In that, now I know some people who have done this. Essentially, like I said, um, the key things for me that I think the reason why it didn't get processed is because, one, the passport card that I use doesn't have your address on there. So they need something that has your address like any normal request. Um, I was just trying to avoid use of the zip code. Um, and then, of course, the Social Security number, which I also didn't want tied. So I didn't use those two things. So that's probably why... I'm pretty sure they know who I am. Non belligerent, non combatant. Um, but um, 
Without those things, they just aren't going to process the information. And you have to understand why. It's because, by definition, my, 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 my perspective, educational information only, keep in mind that when you use the term uh, firearm, that is their word from their system and never existed until they, they created it. Remember, it was right to bear arms, and bear arms just means to bear or to burnish a weapon of any type or of any sort. So when you give something a name, you own it. Okay, and who can own something? Anybody can own something, and if you own it lock, stock, and barrel, and it's yours, you can then give it a name and, and a description. Okay, so of course they're not going to respond in um, me asking how to obtain a firearm as a U.S. national because it's a registered product of theirs. So if you, how should I say this? If you don't know how to do that, then, well, I'm sorry, you're not going to get that information here. I personally know how to do that, um, and, not, and not even illegally, okay, legally, but that's just information you have to find out for yourself. So I do apologize for that. I'm not going to partake in anything that's going to assist people doing anything in, inappropriately ever on this channel. Um, so that's, that's that. Um, but hell, most of the criminals out there know how to, how to do that and then some. But what I will say is that we have been successful in utilizing it as identification. Now, to help those people on the legit, um, use your social, and you can use your passport card, and you might need a, a parcel of mail with your address on it and your name so that they can prove that that's you. Okay, That's how a legitimate person can do it as a U.S. national at any of the places. Um, if they deny you, you can definitely contact them. You might have to update your... Uh, record with the FBI, I forgot the NCIS department. You have to do a voluntary update of your information. I do believe that they want you to get fingerprinted. Once you do that, you should be, and these are, these are just their steps. This is not me telling you any side step or whatever to the process, but this is what they've done. This is what they told me to do. And if you've been denied, they want you to keep that, that um, I think it's an NTN number or NNT number, something like that. It's like a really long transaction number of the occurrence. So, um, and, and do it within 30 to no more than 60 days at, at best. I think it's even 30 because when I did mine, I, it timed out at the store and then um, they said, well, we'll let you know. And I didn't hear anything back from them for 30 days. Well, when I finally got that receipt and messed around, it was like, ah, maybe I'll do it, maybe I won't. And then I don't know if it might have been another 15 days or 30 days. I don't know, it might have been 90. I don't even know. Um, I finally sent that in and they're like, well, we can't find a record of that transaction even though it, all the information was there so maybe those numbers are recycled or dumped after so long I don't know but just do it rather quickly after that otherwise guys I think on the application it'll say something like have you renounced your US citizenship um, don't put no because if you put no well put 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 it this way if you have then check no <laughs> but if you're just a US national um, you've never renounce your citizenship so don't put your renounce that side you still have that citizenship side okay um, so that's basically it guys not a whole lot of information just an update to that I know some of you guys were inquiring about that uh, to those people who do want to share their experiences um, with anything associated with what I was talking about feel free to send me an email um, I will get those receive those and keep that in mind um, some of you have already reached out, which is why I'm saying that I have been privy to information that I will not share in a public platform. Um, so thank you to those guys. As, as always, I do keep my promises with all the various people in the different agencies in the U.S., private and whatever else that have given me a lot of this information. Um, I do thank you and I do keep things private. I do not share names. Um, I will share some of the information if I think it is worth mentioning and can be useful and will not be utilized in a negative way, okay? As a non-belligerent, non-combatant treaty with the United States, um, I feel that we do have some responsibility in the content that we put. Now, you might find it in other channels. You can contact them directly to get information. Um, or you can hang out at a, I don't know, a gun store or a convention or a swap meet and talk to people and find out what it is as uh, one of the locals of the land. Um, Cause like I said, and if you and don't inqu and don't inquire about how to do this, because I will not respond to those. Sorry to be that way. Um, I will not give up any of the information on the people who have uh, given me information that has been very useful on the private side of things. Some things are private, guys, and some things are public. 
So, um, all I will say is this. When the founding of this country was created, and before a lot of rules and regulations took place, a man was entitled to create and do his bidding, his work, his things that he needed on his own. That's all I'm going to say. So, that's it, guys. Um, as always, this information is educational. Don't just take my word for it. I'm just a madman in a box. Um, and so, do your own due diligence. Always be safe. Do not do anything considered illegal, nor that is illegal. Um, we do not condone that on this channel at all whatsoever. Zero. And... Remember, this is for U.S. nationals, not for U.S. citizens, because you are property of Caesar. So, go do Caesar's things. And speaking of which, if you are a Caesar troll, um, I'm telling you right now, don't use any of my materials. Because if I see it, I will record it, report it, and whatever else. So, bye. Otherwise, for the rest of the people out there who I love, big air hug. Mm -hmm. Talk to you guys later. Enjoy yourselves. Enjoy the rest of the day. Go out there and have some type of fun. And go tell somebody you how you really feel. Hopefully that's in a positive way. But if not, put it on the table. Because this way, there ain't going to be no half-stepping. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, talk to you later. Enjoy the rest of your day.